This watering can has a major flaw. It doesn't hold water. So let's take a look at some of the mistakes that I made and how we can fix them. The first one is pretty straightforward. All I had to do was provide some supports inside the spout, but when I was slicing it, all I did was touching build plate as opposed to everywhere. And you can see that fix applied here in the slicer. The next change required some redesign. Uh, basically on the initial design, the handle was hollow, but we need to make it so that it's not hollow and that wall continues all the way up the internal surface so that the water doesn't spill out the handle portion of the watering can. You can see how that internal wall is now solid and the handle has infill to support it on the inside. We've also added tree supports all the way up the handle for, to enable the overhangs at the bottom and the top. This print took about two hours and 40 minutes and about 100 grams of filament. So you can really tell the difference with them side by side. Here's the first one with the issues in the handle and in the spout there right at this crease. And this is the second print with the solid infill on the handle, so there's no gaps there. The tree supports did what they needed to, and this thing came out great. And then you have that little tree support on the inside just to support that crease there. Let's go fill it with water. And it looks like mission accomplished. This thing holds water. No leaks coming out of the handle and no leaks out of that crease in the spout. And look at that flow. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm going to leave you with a time lapse of the design process in SolidWorks and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.